Hello everyone, I want to welcome you back to my kitchen. So today's recipe is another Cajun classic or Creole classic, depending how you want to call it, but more Creole because it's more of a tomato based dish. So today we are making chicken Creole. So before we get on to our recipe, I want to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers for all the support that you have given my channel. For any new viewers we have, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So let's grab our ingredients, let's grab our aprons, and let's get started. For our Creole chicken, we're going to need the following. Boneless thighs, Cajun seasoning, oil, onion, bell pepper, celery, garlic, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, chicken broth, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, pepper, dried thyme, and bay leaf. So we've got us some oil heated up over a medium high heat in a large Dutch oven. And we've taken our chicken thighs and we've cut them up into bite sized pieces. So now we are going to brown our thighs. So we're probably going to have to do this in a couple of batches. And then once they're brown, we're going to set them to the side and then move on to the next part. All right, so we put our chicken to the side. So now to our pot, we are gonna add our onions, our bell pepper, and our celery. And all this stuff at the bottom, that's flavor. And that will come up off of the bottom as we're cooking. So don't be worried about it. So we're gonna put, now that we've got our vegetables in here, we're gonna give these a stir, and we're gonna cook these till they're soft, which is gonna be about five minutes. So this has been going about five minutes. As you can see, our onions are starting to turn opaque. And if you move the stuff around, you can see everything has come up off the bottom. So now we're gonna add in our garlic. And we're gonna let this go for about a minute. So now we wanna add in our tomato paste. want to do we get want to get this fully incorporated into our vegetables and then we're going to let this cook for about a minute or two so now we want to add in our chicken stock and our diced tomatoes we're going to give this a good mix and then we're going to let this come up to a simmer All right, so this is starting to come up to a simmer. So to this, we're gonna add in our Worcestershire sauce, our hot sauce. We'll get this out the way. We are going to add in our pepper, our thyme, and our bay leaf. We'll give this a good mix. And we're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. All right, so we've let this simmer for about five minutes, and now we're gonna add our chicken back in. And make sure all the juices from the plate get in there. And give this a good stir. And the good thing about this dish is if you happen to have like half an onion or a couple of tomatoes you wanna use, um, that you have not used, I'm sorry. Um, this is a good dish to get rid of that stuff. So I had like half a white onion left over, so I went ahead and added him in there. I also had me a small tomato that um, I wanted to use before it went bad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn down to low, and we're going to put a lid on this, and we're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes till the chicken is tender. So 
So we're about halfway through our 30 minute timer on cooking this uh, covered. So what I want to do, I want to give this a quick stir. And what I want to do is we're going to do a taste test and see if it needs any seasonings. There we go, right there. Yeah, it looks like we need a little bit more Cajun seasoning, so I'm going to add about teaspoon to two teaspoons. And we'll go ahead and give this another quick stir. And if you find that this is too thick, don't hesitate to add in some more chicken stock. Oh yeah, that's better. So now we're going to cover this up and let this continue to cook. So this has been going for our full 30 minutes. All right, looks perfect. Let's give this a quick taste test. Mm, oh yeah, perfect bite, perfect taste. So let's go ahead and get us some up, some served up. So I've got a bowl here with some hot rice. Give us a good scoop. Ouch. All right, so now that everything is done, we're going to give it a taste. Enjoy cooking in the kitchen, and I'm going to finish this bowl.